we entered this trade deadline today with a few key goals in mind, one of them being acquiring draft picks. I don't think it's a secret that our team is going to be a seller at this trade deadline, which is unfortunate and not where we wanted to be at the beginning of the year. But uh, we got to ultimately do what's best for the team right now, and that is to build towards the future of this franchise. And I think we can do a lot during this trade deadline, and we can pick up a lot of assets and a lot of good pieces that can help us in the future. Are you guys ready for the trade deadline? I just traded away Chris Letang accidentally, if I if I may say so myself, because I was just trying to see what was out there. But Evan Bouchard for Chris Letang was the trade. Um, I probably could have got a lot more. I was just playing around with it off camera, and unfortunately, it happened. I didn't want it to happen, but it did. So sorry, guys. Evan Bouchard and Chris Letang were swapped for, for each other, I guess, and uh, I definitely could have done a lot better on that trade. But it is what it is, guys. It is what it is. We're going into the trade deadline now, so let's simulate into the trade deadline. Advanced day. It's okay. I don't really care. Here we go. What do we have here? We have Matt Zuccarello and Brendan Peary for two fourth round picks. Hmm. This Peary guy, or Henrik Sharp, is getting a lot of uh, attention as well. I think I drafted him pretty high up, so I kind of like him. Um, I don't like trading away guys that I don't need to trade away, but man, Matt Zuccarello. He's got uh, pretty good numbers. I could probably sign and trade him, but no, I don't want to bring him in because it's just going to cost extra money for him for two years. 65% sold. We are a huge seller. Let's go into the trade deadline. Who do we want? Ooh, Patrick Kane is available. Wow, Patrick Kane, what would it cost me to get Patrick Kane? A whole lot, <laughs> a whole lot. I don't think there's any, oh, they only want one of my guys and it's all, uh, yeah, that's not going to work. So no, we're not going to get Patrick Kane. Uh, let's see, let's find a trade for, ooh, Elias Lindholm. Elias Lindholm for two second round picks. I don't think that's enough for Anaheim. I need you guys to add. I need you guys to add a whole lot to get this going. Give me Jamie Drisdale. Oh, uh, they're not gonna give me Jamie Drisdale. Mason McTavish, Braden Shen, Ricard Raquel, Maxime Comtois, Troy Terry. There isn't really a lot of guys I want. This guy, how is he? Luke Evangelista, former second round pick. I think he will wind up being as good as Elias Lindholm. I don't want this trade. I don't want to do this trade. I want to see if we can find a home for JT Miller. Let's find a home for him. A second and a fourth from Anaheim, a second and a third. Colorado's upping the ante to two seconds. Montreal wants a second and a third. Nolan Foot, a fourth and a seventh. Not a bad deal, I guess. What's this? This is interesting, a second and a fourth. For JT Miller, how is this guy, Ikonen? Never heard of him. He's a minor fourth leaguer. A fourth liner, not fourth leaguer. Wait, 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 I wasn't done finding a trade for him. Nolan Foot, Ikonen, Ikonen. 
I wish you could actually see this, you know, so that I can take a look at what's available. Second and third, second and fourth, second and third. I think I'd rather send him east. Who is this prospect that they're sending me here? This guy is Patrick Eckholm. Former first round pick. He looks pretty solid in terms of everything that he brings to the table. And he's a shutdown player. Okay. Give me a better pick and we'll make it happen. He was giving me two sevens. Let's give me a fourth. Alright. Give me a fifth. time on this JT Miller deal. Alright, we'll just take it. Ekholm is the deal. I like Ekholm. Pateri Ekholm looks like he could be a solid player down the line. He's 18 years old. Elias Lindholm for two seconds. I don't think that's enough for me to want to move him right now. I'd rather get a first, honestly. You guys can make that a first. And then we're not making this deal, guys. A lot of people want Elias uh, Lindholm. Elias Lindholm, Riley Smith for two seconds. And whoever Yakov Shinnikov is, is that Yakov? I, I'm guessing it's Yakov. Gigor Shinnikov, okay. He's a former first round pick as well. Know nothing about him. He could be good, he could be bad. <laughs> this is going to be a terrible idea, but why not, guys? All these are one first uh, one year deals, so why not? We'll move on from Ruedel, Riley Smith, and Elias Lindholm. We get two seconds and a former first round pick. Wait, what? That's what you sent my way. Okay, what was it? It was. Lindholm, that's weird. Why did he reject his own trade? That makes no sense. Anyway, huh? And now nobody wants them. All right, I'm okay holding on to him, but let's see if we can find a home for Riley Smith. Third and fifth from Carolina. To the third and fifth. Third and sixth. Two fourths, two fourths. Third and fifth for this year. That's not bad, Philadelphia. All right, we're going to send him to Philadelphia. I think that's a solid trade there. We're getting some players back. All right, who else is on the verge of leaving with a one year deal left? Bouchard, I'm going to hang on to for sure. Wait, didn't I just trade Riley Smith? I thought I just traded him to Philadelphia. I guess not. Okay, well. I have no idea what just happened there, guys. going to be under the cap or something 
Let's see what's going on here. Why can't I not trade it? You guys are the ones who sent me this deal. What the heck is going on? This game is weird. All right, since you won't take Riley Smith, I'm sure someone else will. Decline that. Elias Lindholm is not the guy I need to move right now. Riley Smith is. And I'm going to move him to the east. Now they accept it. I, I don't get... I don't know, somebody explain to me what just happened there. I don't know. I really have no idea what just happened. Dylan Coughlin we're keeping. This guy, Rue Weedle. Let's see if there's anybody who wants him. Seventh round picks to all. We'll take two sevenths from Winnipeg. Who else can we say? Oh, maybe Mikheyev has some value too. Fifth in the seventh, sixth in the seventh. Fifth in the seventh. Let's send him to Washington. Okay, who else can we move now? Elias Lindholm for two seconds. I'm not going to make that happen, guys. If you want him, you're going to have to give me much more value than that. I don't need to move Elias Lindholm right now. Still some time left. Still a lot of time left here. Matt Dumba would be an interesting guy for me to pick up to help with my defense. JT Miller was already traded. And Zuccarello was somebody they wanted to move to me. Let's see who else is left on my trading block right now. Elias Lindholm. Let's add a couple of guys. Let's add Buchnevich on there. And let's add uh, Christian Fisher. Let's find a trade for Christian Fisher as well. I forgot we had him. Let's see if he's worth anything here. I don't even know where he is. Christian Fisher worth a seventh round pick for somebody Ooh, two sevenths that might be the clear-cut winner there yep two sevenths is the clear cut we'll bring back Matthew Highmore pretty good getting a lot of draft picks out of this one here uh, let's see what goalies we've got to get rid of now we're keeping Arthur Silov Velmecca. I wonder if Malveca has got some value to him. We'll send him to Tampa. We'll bring back Eric Comrie. So there we go. We've got some, got some moves going on now. Demko and Comrie will be the goaltending to go forward. And we'll see what else we can do here. Hoping to get more first round picks. Taze is available too. Buchnevich. There's a few guys interested in Buchnevich. Just over an hour left. Let's see if we can make a move for Buchnevich.
second and third, second and third. Brent Burns in a third and a fourth. I don't need Brent Burns. Matt Roy. I just traded these guys Matt Roy. I'm not going to go after Matt Roy again. None of these trades interest me. Let's see if we can package him with like a third round pick. That didn't change a thing. getting Evan Bouchard right now he's been tagged as elite so let's see if we can get another elite player back uh, I like trading with Anaheim they've been pretty good to me in the past we got Zgrass out of the deal Elias Lindholm for Brent Burns is a terrible trade Pavel Buchnevich, I think I can find a good home for him. I was on my way to making this deal, and then I got rudely interrupted. I want a player back in return. Who is Slavoski? I want to get a good player back in return. Maybe a guy like... Maxime Comtois and a draft pick maybe let's see if they'll do that maybe a fifth so they're not looking to move Comtois But I'm not looking to move anybody unless I get a player in return. And it's got to be a player who plays. Is it Evangelista? I know I looked at him earlier. Former second round pick. I don't think that's enough for me to take him. I think we got to move on. Let's look at a team like Buffalo. No, you guys aren't giving me enough. Buchnevich, I want to move you. Let's see what Pittsburgh has available. Oh, that's it. Buchnevich is going to stay in Vancouver. We got a whole ton of picks. A bunch of seventh round picks we basically let's just summarize here there's a lot of moves we traded Carol Valmecca for two sevenths or for one seventh from Tampa Bay we traded um, we traded Christian Fisher for two sevenths in from Florida Nolan foot was traded so Nolan foot was offered to us they got Mark Giordano for him that's not a bad deal Matt Nieto, we got a fifth and a seventh round pick for Ilya Mikheyev, who we picked up earlier in the season, or just earlier because of uh, roster issues. We tr we also acquired a se two seventh round picks for Chad Ruwiddle. Uh, we got a third and a fifth for Riley Smith, another guy we signed to a one year deal. So a lot of these are guys that we traded for very or we signed for one year deals and we were able to move them for very, very little. We got Pat, I think it was Patrick Eckholm and two sevenths from New York for JT Miller. Uh, Eckholm looks like he's going to be a stud. We'll see what happens. He's already got some X factors for a rookie. So I'm quite happy with that. That was a big move. And um, yeah, we were quite active on this trade deadline, I'd say. We we made a lot of big moves to try and get our team. It's per Ekholm, sorry. Per Ekholm. We made a lot of big moves to try and make this happen. Um, but uh, yeah, we'll see. 
I didn't know Cedric Paquette was that bad right now. How many years does he have left? He's got two years left. 2.5 million. He's a bit of a pest. Let's bring him in. We need some veteran leadership on this team. So we'll take him. Let's claim him. Why not? We need some players on this team right now, guys. Nice, we got 50k because I acquired a first round pick at some point, so they're happy with that. All right, guys, let's see what this new look Vancouver Canucks roster is going to look like right now. Ugh, hate to see what this team looks like. We got Ekholm, Lamico, and Jassic on the third. Trennan, Lindholm, Pakolzin on the second. Pedersen, Buchnevich, and Zagras on the first line. That is oof. What about my defense? Bouchard and Hughes, Rathbone and Coughlin, Lannan and Juleson look good together, so there's that. But yeah, we are, oof, it's not looking good, guys. This team is looking pretty bad. Let's see if we can play one game and see what happens. One game post trade deadline. The new look Canucks. 3 1. Wow, look at that, 6-1. This team wants the show. Oh wait, wow. 6-4 is the final. They they almost came back and beat us. But that's okay, we won. Didn't want to win, but we won. Okay guys, that's it for me signing off. I hope you guys enjoyed this one. That was an intense trade deadline. Got a few draft picks out of it, got a few prospects out of it. But uh, we'll see where we wind up next season. All right, guys. Stay tuned as I finish off the rest of the regular season and we head towards the draft. Take care. Stay safe. Stay healthy. Do all that good stuff. And I'll see you in the next one. Cheers.